In this video, I will show you how you can share your files and folders on Dropbox. So here's how you can share your files or folders. So on the homepage of Dropbox, once you've created your account, go to here where it says new folder. And first I'll show you how you can create folders. Then just give that folder a name. So I'll just call it tutorial. And then we're going to create that folder and it will then take us inside of that folder. So now we've got some options. We can now add our file. So if we go to add from computer, we can now upload files or folders. So I'm going to upload a file here. So let's say I want to share this thumbnail image here to somebody else. I'm now going to click on that and then go open. And it will then upload that file to this Dropbox folder. So here is that thumbnail for a YouTube video. So now what you can do, you can share this folder or this individual file. Now to share the individual file, you will click on it. And then you can see you've got a share icon up here. If you go ahead and click on share, you can see that we're sharing just this PNG file and we can go through all of the share settings. Now we can also do this with just the folder. So if we click off of the image and we're now inside the folder, you can see we're inside the tutorial folder, which we can click share for. Now we've got some options that we need to configure. So we're sharing this folder and only people invited, you might want them so they can only view it or you might want them so they can edit it as well. Personally, if you're sharing a folder, I would just choose so they can view it so they can't edit it and delete anything. You can then go ahead and invite people by typing in their name or just entering in their email. So I can invite myself here and I can just click on share folder. That will then send them an email with an invite link or alternatively, you can create a link which you can send them manually. So I've just copied that link. If we then go to settings, you can see you've got a link for viewing configured here. Now people with this link can only view and who has access, anyone with the link. You can also change this to only people invited, but again, you would have to invite them on the previous page, but that's pretty much all you have to do. You can then go ahead and save that. And you can now either send them the link or send them an invite. 